Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to clean up your messy XMB screen, especially those of you who are on modded PS3s and you have, look at this, you have all this stuff here. I'm going to show you how to clean that up. You don't need to have a modded system. Mine is, but you don't need to have a modded jailbroken PS3 in order to do this. This does work on regular official firmware PS3s. It's just a lot of people don't know about this. So let's go ahead and let's get started to clean up that XMB screen. All right, so what we're going to do here is what you want to decide is what type of albums you want to make, what, what names they should be or whatever. I have, my system is modded, so I have tools um, that deal with custom firmware. I have some games here. I have emulators. So what I wanted to do was clean everything up. So basically when you have something here, um, you just want to decide what folder, uh, what you want to call your folder and wh where you want what um, to go. So basically I want my games, all my games here to go in a folder called games. I want my tools to go into a folder called, um, you know, uh, like CFW tools. And then uh, my emulators can go into a folder called emulators and so on and so forth. So basically, whenever you have, and you know, you don't have to, again, you don't have to be modified. You can have just a bunch of games here. And let's say you want your games to go into uh, genre folders. You can make a folder called like FPS for first person shooter. You can make another folder called platforms um, and put your platform games on there. Another one called RPG or JRPG, whatever. So just whatever you want. Basically, what you have to do is you just go to the first game or first app or whatever it is, um, and you're going to, when it's highlighted here, you're going to press triangle, and you're going to go down to information. You're going to press X, and right here, you'll see it says albums. Now, yours will just have a little dot there. You see how mine says games? That's because I've already done this on my system. When I press square a couple of times and it organizes everything, there we go. You see, now an album is a folder. Um, the PS3 calls them albums. They're just, they're just freaking folders. I don't know why it calls it an album. But there we go. See, now I have one folder that's called CFW Tools, another one called Game Tools, um, Emulators, uh, and Games, and then there's Unknown. These are uh, apps or games or something that are not assigned. So um, they get automatically put in an unknown folder. Um, that's where the system puts them. So if you want it to look nice and neat like this, all you need to do is go, like I was showing you, um, go into um, that little, uh, the little area that says album, and then just name it something. Uh, so here, I think this one hasn't been set yet. So I'm going to go to information. And you see where it says album? There's a little dash there, and the cursor is like blinking right there. All you do is press X, and now you can make an album. You can call it whatever you want. After you put things into that album, you can rename the whole entire album. So it's not like you're stuck with one name when you pick it. You can pick a name, and then you can pick the whole. You can change the whole entire album afterwards. So um, even if you have stuff in it. So um, you know, let's say I want to put this in an album called uh, or in a folder called, uh, I don't know, Webman. See that? Webman, right? And now I'm going to press Start. See, it's called Webman. Now it's going to go in. Now it made that folder. It didn't exist, but now it made it. So when I go out here, let me go Folders. See, now there's a folder there, and it's called Webman. When I click X, that's the only program that's in there. So <clears throat> it wasn't there before, and now it's there. Now I can, you can go into um, anything. If I go here and I press triangle, and then I go to information, I can see there's no album assigned to this. I can press X, and then if I wanted to, I could type Webman again. Okay, and look, it, since I already done it, it remembered it is right there. Okay, and now when I hit start, it says Webman when I back out. Look, now it says two titles, and now they're both in this folder. So you're just going to have to go one by one to place what you want into the right folder. 
and that's it. Now, if you change your mind later about what a folder is called, here I am on the webman folder. When you, the whole folder like this is highlighted, just press triangle, go to information, and you see it says album webman. You can press X to edit, and now I could change the whole, uh, the name of the whole entire album, and everything that's in that album will still stay there, so it won't disappear. Now you can do this for anything, guys. It's not just your game column. You can do this for your music. You can do this for photos. You can do this for videos. See, I made a folder here called My Picks. Uh, all I did was I went into that one picture, right, and I just um, I just went to information. And when it was here on albums, I just typed my picks, and it automatically made the folder. Now you could call, you know, I don't know, you could have a bunch of different folders called a bunch of different things, like vacation, Christmas, whatever. Same thing with music. You can separate the music by, um, you know, uh, different albums, genres, whatever you want. And same thing with video. You can separate, you know, video by clips, game clips. If you have movies on here, you can put action um, comedy, you know, whatever, sci-fi, whatever you want, and that's how it's done, all right? Whenever you want to change something, you can go into it and just change it. Now, this here is put in alphabetical order. If there is an album you want to show up first, just put a number in front of it. So here I wanted, I wanted to make sure CFW came up first. I just put a 1 in front of it. I wanted to make sure Game Tools showed second, so I put a 2 in front of it, and those two are the top two, right? So that's how you get them in the order that you want. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and it, it, so it's pretty simple. Um, let's say I change my mind about something that's in here. Okay, let's say I go into React PSN. I can press triangle, go into information, and let's say I want it to be in the, that for some reason I want it to be in that webman folder I created. All I have to do is go in here and just type webman um, like I did with the other two. And that's it. It will go from this folder to the webman folder, and it'll transfer. So it's that simple. So let me go ahead and install something real quick, just so you can see. I'm going to do uh, Iris Man here. All right. So Iris Man installed, and it's going to be in a folder called Unknown. See, because I haven't assigned it yet. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to put it in my CFW tools. So let's go to Information. Let's go to Album. I'm going to put one uh, dot, because that's what my CFW tools are called. One dot C, C. And since I already typed it before, it remembers it. CFW, and there's Tools. I'm going to hit Start, and there we go. So now it should have moved from Unknown to CFW. And there it is. It's the first one. See that? So that's it. That's how you clean all this stuff up and make it look nice and tidy. Hope this helped you out, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be making a bunch of tutorials here really soon on all kinds of things PS3. So make sure you stay tuned. And, um, and yeah, the more subs I get, then the more motivated I get to put more of these types of videos out. This is just something that people have asked me before, and I keep seeing other people's PS3s with all this mess and it kind of drives me insane so anyway i figure i show you how to clean it up in case you didn't know thanks for watching